I wanna welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. What doctrines, that's plural, must one affirm to be a Baptist? Wow, what a loaded question because you know my joke. You get two Baptists, you're gonna get three opinions, which makes Baptistic thought and theology beautiful because it is a broad umbrella. So the big question is, okay, what makes somebody a Baptist? Again, I might argue that Baptist really isn't a denomination, okay? Methodism is a denomination, Presbyterian is a denomination, Congregationalism, Episcopal, Anglican. Those are true denominations with structure of beliefs and doctrines that are guided and guarded by a select group and then passed on throughout the entirety of the entity and or organization. I would argue Baptist really isn't a denomination. I would argue more for being Baptistic. In other words, Baptistic means you subscribe to these doctrines or constructs that have been labeled as Baptist. Now, enough of that. What does that mean? First and foremost, okay, the number one doctrine that one has to claim if they want to say, okay, I, I'm a Baptist, is you have to believe in the absolute final authority of Scripture for faith and practice. That's it. That, that's it. I would argue that's the one doctrine you have to have. Now, I know what you're going to think. Well, there's a lot of people who believe a lot of different things that say that. Well, the problem is they don't really believe what they're telling you. If you believe that the Bible is the absolute final authority for faith and practice, then you have to believe that the only means and the only way of salvation is through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. You also subscribe to things as literal in Scripture and not necessarily metaphorical or allegorical the way I see it, the way you see it. In other words, I think the doctrine of an Baptistic perspective is the sufficiency of Scripture, which then should permeate all of our theological treatises and concepts. Here's what I would argue. Most people claim to or advocate a Baptistic position, but when you begin to flush out their theological positions on a variety of issues, not so much. So I would argue that the Bible is very clear on what we might call Trinitarian theology. There's one God in three persons. Almost everybody who claims that Bible is sufficient, there are those that do not believe in Trinitarian theology that would tell you they believe the Bible is sufficient. So you see where the breakdown is. So again, what does it take to be a Baptist? Well, sufficiency of scripture. And then it begins to get flushed out with the person of Christ, doctrine of Trinity, eschatology, all those different things. Let's just make it simple today. Sufficiency of scripture. Not do you say it, but do you actually live it? Great question. If you have one, send to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.